welcome back to Kelly Sucks at Gaming. I'm Kelly and I suck at gaming. Oh yeah. So, I have to rant today. I just want to preface this, uh, this episode with, I'm not going to be reading the dialogue this time, just because I have a lot that I want to talk about and this might bleed into the next episode as well. So, bear with me and I'll definitely, if you're, if you're watching this for the story, I will leave the, I'm going to adjust the mic just a smidgen real quick. Sorry, it just like came to me that I needed to adjust the mic. I will leave the dialogue on the screen long enough to read, but I'm not going to be reading it just because I have a lot that I want to talk about today. So I'm just checking out. It's been quite a bit since I've played this list. Probably the last time I uh, recorded is the last time that I played this. So, all right. So, I'm trying to figure out if there's anything that I can do that is not part of the actual quest because I don't want to uh, do that if I can help it. But, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to get through this because I can't like read and talk at the same time. I'm really, really shitty at that. Oops, I didn't mean to go all the way back. I'm really shitty at trying to uh, read while talking. You know, it's really difficult. I shouldn't talk. I'm sorry, I am reading. I'm not, I'm not talking yet because I, just, I need to read. Okay, so there's a lot of salvage stuff to do, especially in Falcon Castle. So we might go and do that this episode. It won't require any real dialogue, you know? So we might do that. Let's let's do that. I I'm deciding. For once in my life, I'm going to decide something. <laughs> so let's see. Maybe we can knock out a few of those salvage requests at the same time. Honestly, probably not. But whatever. So I have to vent for a minute. A hot minute. This might be longer than a minute, actually. I was leaving work about an hour ago. And I have to get on the highway to get home from where I work, from the university that I work at. Well, there is this road leading to the highway that it just kind of ends with the highway. So and you can only get on the highway going one direction. I'm like doing movement. I'm like doing motions while I'm playing the game. So it's like the cursor's going the fuck all over the place. Um, so it's really not that important. So we're driving along the road that leads to the highway and the speed limit is 45, but everybody goes 60 because you're getting on the highway basically. It's, you know, you're not the ramp yet, but the road just ends as into the highway. So we are going and this lady, this car, two cars in front of me, where she was holding up a huge line of traffic. She had to be going only like, I think her peak was like 40 miles an hour and it's 45 and most people go 60. People were pissed, especially the person in front of me who was directly behind this, this slow car. And so we're getting to the ramp and the ramp is uphill to get to the highway, which for, Thing, like, like I can kind of understand with like tractor trailers not being able to get all the way up the speed to get on the highway there because it's uphill and tractor trailers, you know, they, they struggle to get up to speed even going down the hill, much less going uphill. So, but this person 
they slowed down to 35 while they were like once they had gotten onto the highway and they were like still in the 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 what's it called the the lane the lane that comes from the ramp and holy shit and like the speed limit is 60 there and she was still going 35 it was fucking ridiculous and like the cars on the highway next to us like they were trying to get over and everything and even though the speed limit's 60 people go like 80 it was terrifying of course like all of us behind were had our blinkers on and it's getting on to rush hour so of course the highway's already busy and everything but this motherfucker this motherfucker i need to I find this motherfucker was still at goddamn 35 miles an hour while the rest of the highway is going 80 and the cars behind her all of us were fucking terrified trying to merge onto the highway because we couldn't uh, we couldn't like get up to speed at all it was ridiculous oh my god it was like she had a death wish for us i swear to god she was trying to kill us because when I finally was able to merge and get around her, she was like laughing and smiling and acting like nothing was wrong. I was like, are you that oblivious? Like that is terrifying. That is absolutely fucking terrifying that somebody could be that goddamn oblivious to what's going on around them, etc. It's just, and just for the sheer like, Road safety, general road safety. I, I'm like lost for words at the stupidity of this person. And then, like, I could see them in my rearview mirror as I was going. They like were still. I don't know why I'm like stuck. Oh, because I'm using this. I'm not smart. I was like, why am I still in the first person? This doesn't make any sense. But you're in the first person for the multi, because multi sensor. Sorry. Continuing with my story of the worst driver ever, like literally she had a death wish upon us because she just, that's what she was fucking trying to do. She was trying to kill us by having us, you know, merging onto the highway at 35 miles an hour. Like there's no way that was gonna turn out good for anybody. Like luckily my little car has a little, has a good little get up and go. So luckily I was able to like, get on the highway without dying <laughs> and you know I I fucking get it if you're I'm trying to like make an excuse for her but I can't come up with anything like decent enough to give decent enough of an excuse to make up for this chick I don't, I don't fucking know. I just don't even fucking know. I, I, I want there to be a reason for it, but I have, I, I can't think of anything. She just, God, the fact that she like was total, either totally oblivious or she knew exactly what she was doing and was doing it on purpose. That's the, like the scariest part to me that, I mean, either of those situations. Either she doesn't know or she was doing it on purpose. Like, that's terrifying. Like, I understand people tailgating you. That's good. For you. That can get really irritating. Usually, I'm the person tailgating. <laughs> but, and I have some terrible fucking road rage. Let me tell you. I have, like, some of the worst road rage. I get so fucking pissed at goddamn near everything when I'm driving. Like, literally, I just need a roadway system just for myself in order to, like, not ever have road rage. <laughs> And sometimes, you know, I wish death upon people. Like this lady, I wish death upon her. But I don't actively do anything to, like, try to make sure that anybody gets injured. You know? Like, I don't... I'm not going to actively do something like, you know, almost run into a person or break check a person or I'm not going to do anything to actively like try to hurt that person. Yeah, I'll wish the, their death and their injury upon them, you know, tenfold, but 
I'm not gonna actually try to endanger anybody. She was trying either intentionally or unintentionally to endanger people and that is not fucking okay. That is not fucking okay. Like this this bitch, this bitch over her. She I just mm, I'm still like fueled up from this whole endeavor trying to get home from work. Like you know how you just get really like worked up when you have some serious road rage happening <clears throat> and like you're just your blood's pumping your adrenaline's running and you just you keep trying to think of every fucking curse word that you can think up and it's like because you're trying to think up a cuss word it's like it doesn't actually happen <laughs> and you just come up with worse curse words and shit and it's like I want to make sure that was actually Thanatos out the window. I wasn't, I know I've showed Thanatos before, but I just want to make sure that it was still Thanatos because there is, hint, 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 there is a legendary that, but it has to be after the story, which is why I was like, it shouldn't be showing up yet. But there is a legendary creature that's not, it does not have a silhouette in the animal book until, like its picture doesn't show up until you find it. But yeah, there is one that shows up outside of the windows of Velka Castle, but you have to finish the story before it will actually, you know, show up, so. Oh, but yeah. Shit was, shit was scary, yo. Shit was fucking scary, yo. I'm hitting something, there it is. <laughs> it's like, where is it? <laughs> Where's the fucking shit? <sighs> lots of paintings and lots of books, which are good, because a lot of the salvage requests were for paintings or books in Valka Castle. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I'm getting like some of these legendary, or not legendary, some of these requests, like the items that are referred to by the requests. Let's see, I've got six spaces left. I'm pretty sure this is one in the fireplace. Like, I'm pretty certain that's one of them. I think there's one in the secret room as well. Can, can you please keep turning? Thank ya. Oh, here's something. Oh, we're gonna make all the monies today. We're gonna get rich. We're gonna get so fucking rich, yo. I need the money because in order to get the end game, like uh, equipment that's what I was trying to think of in order to get the end game equipment that will give you the most air in your tank and you'll just it'll be easier to actually do the end game stuff because you get to a point where you can't leave um, like you know here's here's Spoiler alert, I'll just go ahead and fucking say it. But you do end up, where the fuck is, there it is. I was like, where the fuck is it? You do end up finding, you know, the uh, Okyanides thing in the Zahab region. It's a big old castle temple thing under the water. Similar to this, but it's like the whole Okyanides thing. It's, it's more, it's closer to like the Aztecian type stuff. But you end up finding that and there is a portion after you've been in, you've dived in there a couple of times, you get to a point where you, uh, it's, uh yes it is, we're turning around. JK. JK. But you get to a point where you can't leave, you are stuck inside and so you're just that's the only opportunity you have really is is that chance that you're in there otherwise you know there that's you're gonna quote unquote die oh, 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 oh. is it out here or is it in there I think it's in here well, there's something 
so you you really want to have your dive level up as far as you can you want to have you know all the upgrades for your tank and your regulator all that shit to give you as much air as possible to work with that way you can hopefully not have to super rush through that part of the game because there is a lot of stuff to find in there so there's a lot of fish that only show up in there and a lot of treasures that only show up in there and of course you know the whole point after you finish the storyline is again spoilers the whole you end up destroying it well not you but after you finish figuring out the puzzle and everything you do end up destroying the place and the whole point is to try to get enough money to is that where i came from now the whole point is to try to get as much money as you can because you need a million dollars in order to excavate the thing the the temple castle place the okinides place again so that you can discover it again and again there are a lot of bunch of treasures and fish that only show up in there once you have excavated it so you know you want to try to get as much as you can your first time through because trust me it will take a long 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 long, long time trying to uh, um, get the money to excavate the place it takes quite a lot of grinding in quite a large amount of time and it's not the most fun thing to do I will I, I will be straight it's really quite irritating and daunting and I, I don't enjoy doing it but oh my bag is full of that well then I guess we'll end our dive and go back and get it all appraised and see if we have uh done any of those salvage requests i know in this episode i just like i had to fold my laptop down a bit i record i capture using my laptop and uh i had to flip it down because it's like right where the wee thing is the little sensor bar thing where i sit and where the tv is located at or like the computer sits directly in between us so when I am doing any Wii games that require pointing at the TV, I uh, have to like put my computer, I have to like close it, but not close it all the way, just close it enough so that I can get the, the Wii remote where I hold it is like high enough <laughs> to be seen by the sensor bar. So yeah, I just like, saw the time when I just flipped it up and I was like oh well this is gonna be a long episode I was just sitting rambling I didn't realize how long it'd been yes we're gonna pay for it and let's see what we've got oh yeah a spirit statue an old magazine another old magazine an emerald ring a Japanese drum Oh, a copied painting, a German doll, a Japanese statue, a pharaoh statue, pop art, uh, a marionette, a sketch of some boobies, another copied painting, a marble statue, an epic poem, ooh, a ladies magazine, a Greek sculpture, a titanium ingot, a bronze statue, a baroque painting. Sorry, I was like losing my mind reading those things. It was like I didn't realize how many things I had going on in there. Okay, thank you. Okay, I don't think I actually got any of the salvage things, to be perfectly honest. I don't think I got any of those. Nope, because it would say that I completed them. <sighs> well, I'm going to end this episode here because that was really anticlimactic and this was just literally a me rambling kind of episode. Nothing really happened, so feel free to skip this episode. It's not like I have anybody that watches these anyway, so... I don't know who the fuck I'm talking to. But hey, if anybody does end up watching, please, please, please 
like this video, let me know that you're enjoying this series. I will keep on going. I'm probably, at this point, I'm so close to the end, I'm just gonna keep on going anyways. Like this video though, to let me know that you want me to go ahead and finish out this game. And if you liked this video, go ahead and share it. Share it with somebody else and it may have, you know, that you think will get some enjoyment out of, out of it. Ugh, I like choked on my spit. <laughs> oh, this is going really badly today. <laughs> I'm like losing it. If you like this video and you think somebody else will get some enjoyment out of it, please, please, please share it with them. Let them know. Tell them to check it out. I would really, really appreciate it. That'd be awesome. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It like, takes less than two seconds. Like seriously, just click. That's it. That's all you gotta do. I'm right there. <laughs> and I'll see y'all tomorrow at seven. Bye.